I'm sorry guys, but we're back to ruin your childhood even more because can you believe that this mistake happened in an episode of Spongebob or even this one? Dude, it is crazy how many mistakes there are in Spongebob and we're gonna be exposing a bunch of them in today's video. So let's get right into it. Ah, here we go. Onions, ready Gary. <laughs> one of my favorite seasons of spongebob is season two like don't get me wrong season one and three are also really good and even modern spongebob has some good episodes season 13 was pretty good and season 14 has been all right so far but anyways season two the episode we're going to be covering is something smells and yeah this episode has a couple of mistakes here's the first one grapple gang let's see if you guys can spot it ketchup Did you guys catch it? Because this one even took me a couple of times to actually understand the mistake here. It has to do with SpongeBob's hand. As when SpongeBob opens up this giant ketchup bottle, like that is a massive bottle of ketchup, and squeezes it into his Sunday bowl, a ketchup Sunday, disgusting. Look, his right hand is backwards. And to really show you guys, I want you to take your arm, all right, your right arm, and position it like SpongeBob's arm in this shot, and you'll see that his hand was drawn backwards. Again, it's very easy to miss but yeah this is totally a mistake and here's another one from the same episode oh, i mean it's one thing if you have bad shoes or even bad hair but Patrick! you're not ugly your breath stinks really bad so this next one happens really really fast it's only for about a frame or so but when spongebob starts screaming patrick in the clips you guys just saw a majority of his holes just disappear like look at this spongy dude over here it's so weird seeing him without all of his holes also just saying it kind of makes it a little funny but if you look at spongebob's reflection in the same shot the reflection has the holes like his reflection in the water so why doesn't he have his holes it's so weird it's nothing compared to the next Next episode we're gonna cover though, which has three whopping mistakes. Let's keep it rolling, grapple gang. Hey, I wanna learn how to do that. Well, what, you mean karate? Uh-huh. We're heading over to season seven for this next one, and this episode is not liked by the SpongeBob community very much. It's Karate Star. I personally don't think that the episode is that bad, but a lot of fans just do not like this one, mainly due to the plot, but surprise, surprise, the episode itself also has a bunch of mistakes, and let's get right into them. Here's the first one in Grapple Gang. Try to guess what the mistake is before I reveal it. Try to comment what the mistake is before I actually say what it is. I know you guys can do it. Anyways, roll that footage. Oh, what's this? Hmm, I haven't seen this before. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, look, it's Patrick! Hiya, SpongeBob! What are you doing? Hey. In there, Neptune! So this one's weird, all right? Let's take a look at the Krusty Krab from the outside, and you'll notice that the Krusty Krab doors have these yellow handles on them, all right? It's been there ever since the first ever episode, and it's just how the doors look, man, all right? It's how they look. But in the clips you guys just saw, when Patrick chops through the Krusty Krab doors with his karate, or his karate, those yellow handles do not appear on the floor when they really should. Like, this mistake is a bit of a nitpick on my end, and I can understand why the animators were a little too lazy to put the handles in this shot, but it's still technically a mistake. Lipids and cream. We're all out. In fact, we're out of everything. <laughs> all right, mistake number three. So as you guys saw in the clips, Patrick over here orders a delicious ice cream, all right? I could go for some ice cream right now. Comment down below, Grapple Gang, what's your favorite flavor of ice cream? Mine is cookie dough. But anyways, when Patrick orders his large ice cream, the amount of scoops on his ice cream inconsistently change in between shots. For example, when he first gets it, it looks like this, and there's this many scoops. But when the shot changes, look, so do the scoops of ice cream. Not a huge deal, but this one is most certainly a mistake, and hey, mistakes happen sometimes, it's a 2D animated show, but I caught ya. And let's catch more heading over to another episode. And guys, stay tuned because the mistakes are only gonna get crazier as we go, I'm saving the craziest mistakes for the end. 
why don't you just take it off so you don't have to go to work today? <laughs> I'm afraid it doesn't work that way, buddy. I hate that hat! You know, we cover a ton of mistakes on this channel, and there are some mistakes that just actually crack me up, and this is one of them. It's from the episode No Hat for Pat, which is kind of an underrated episode, just saying, with Patrick becoming an attraction at the Krusty Krab because he constantly falls and hurts himself. I actually feel kind of bad for Patrick in this episode, but anyways. Here's the first mistake, let's see if you guys can catch it, grapple gang, roll that footage. Lad, what do you think? I made a ketchup? Yeah, this one's pretty straightforward, but the Krusty Krab sign, all right? Normally it looks like this, and as you can see, it says the Krusty Krab. Of course, it's the Krusty Krab sign after all. But in this one shot from No Half or Pat, look, the sign is misspelled, with the U in Krusty being replaced with a Y. But yeah, that's not how the sign is supposed to look. As a matter of fact, here's a side by side of how the sign looks in other episodes, and yeah, you guys can really see the mistake now. So, we Weird, but not as weird as this next episode set of mistakes. Let's keep it rolling, gang. How much is this joker? Um, it's a wristband. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. So this next episode is actually one of my favorites in terms of modern day Spongebob, especially in terms of season nine. The episode is Mall Girl Pearl, and it's a cool episode because it isn't about Spongebob, Patrick, Sandy, or Mr. Krabs, it's all about Pearl. Anyways though, we're here for mistakes, all right? We're not here for a deep dive into Pearl, so here's the first mistake from this episode. work at the mall, do you, Derek? No, but all my girlfriends do. So this one is a bit of a nitpick, but it's still technically a mistake, and listen closely because it's kind of technical. But when Pearl first reads her Coral Cuties magazine, we can see that the magazine's name on the back is shown in yellow text. Remember this, all right? It's yellow text. However, though, after Pearl puts it down and the scene progresses, look, that yellow text, which was yellow, is now red. It just randomly changes. Also, as you guys can see in this shot, when Pearl's reading the magazine, this guy right here, Derek, is on the back of the magazine. We can see her looking at it. However, though, when she puts the magazine down, look, Derek has just completely disappeared from the back of the magazine. He does reappear when she picks it up, but yeah. Very, very messy, and here's another mistake from Mall Girl Pearl. Dang! Get what? <laughs> Pearly? This next mistake is a major issue, and it's because it goes against Spongebob lore. I know I sound crazy when I say Spongebob lore, but there is a canon to this stuff. Now, for context, back in the episode Sleepy Time, I love this episode, it's iconic, we see Mr. Krabs' driver's license, and as you can see, it says that his birthday is on November 30th, 1942, and that his address is 3541 Anchor Way. Remember this, alright? Remember this. As in Mall Girl Pearl, we get another look at Mr. Krabs' license and things have just completely changed now. Like whoever animated this shot of Mr. Krabs' license needs to go and watch older episodes of Spongebob because they're wrong. With it claiming that he was born on September 25th, 1960, and that his address is 2219 Anchor Street instead of the other address I mentioned before. Now don't get me wrong, dude could have moved, like maybe Mr. Krabs moved, but you're not able to change your birth date, all right? Like you're not, you're not able to. It's kind of funny because if Mr. Krabs did this himself, maybe Mr. Krabs forged his ID so that he comes across as younger. This would make sense because if we go back to midlife crustacean like that episode from I think season two, it's all about Mr. Krabs wanting to be younger. So a bit of a SpongeBob theory here, but also the mistake is that at first his ID or driver's license said this and now it says this making for a mistake. And we ain't done yet, baby. Let's keep it moving. Let's head over to our next episode and this is where things get spicy. Krusty Krab patrons, behold! It's a jar of seeds. Vaughn seeds. Today only, the Krusty Krab presents our first annual Bun Seed Guessing Contest! Next up, we've got For Here or To Go from season six. In this episode, you know, it's kind of mixed. Some people like it, some people don't like it. I personally do like it. I will admit though, it has some gnarly scenes. Like look at this one shot from the ending of the episode where you see the digested contents of a Krabby Patty in Plankton's stomach. 
Oh, come on, Karen. What happened? I just did what you asked. I analyzed the contents of your stomach and used them to synthesize a Krabby Patty. Like, wow, dude. But anyways, we're here for mistakes, not gross SpongeBob scenes. That's actually a good idea for a video, though. Comment down below. Should I do a video on, like, the grossest scenes in SpongeBob? But anyways, here's the mistakes from this episode. Roll the footage. <laughs> Karen, quick! You gotta cut this Krabby Patty out of me stat! So this one, you need a really good eye to catch it, all right? So this right here is Karen, all right? Plankton's computer wife. And because Karen is a computer, there are multiple different versions of her. There's only one Karen, but she can be in this like robot version. But there's also this wall version that we often see inside the chum bucket where Karen's like on a monitor on the wall. Ultimately though, there is only one Karen. So why in this one shot can we see both the mobile robot version and the wall version of Karen at the exact same? same time. I'll tell you why, it's because they made a mistake. I guess the animators accidentally drew both versions at the same time, because it looks really weird. On the bright side for Plankton, I guess he has two versions of Karen now, which could be kinda convenient. Anyways though, before I get myself in trouble, let's head over to another episode. This next one's a banger, but more importantly, the mistakes in it are going to blow your brain. Alright, let's keep it moving. No. Yes, I will have a quad patty with a sprinkling of Himalayan salt, smoked paprika, and micro greens. Give me a quad. Hold on, I'm not finished with my order. Oh, oh. come on. I've said this many times before, but I personally, being a massive Spongebob fan, love episodes where it focuses more on another character than just Spongebob or Patrick. And the episode Larry the Floor Manager is a good example of this. It's nice to see our boy Larry get some more representation. We've got two mistakes for you from this episode. Here's the first one. Roll the footage. What are y'all doing out here? You should just go home. We can't go home. There's no... Krabby Patties at home! I need my Krabby Patties, man! You gotta help me! Did you guys catch that? Because it's really bad. It happens for like a couple of frames, so I'm surprised that the animators didn't catch it. But in the scenes we just showed you, if you look closely, our boy Incidental 40, his left eyebrow just randomly turns blue. Normally they're black, but as you can see here, it turns like transparent or something and it blends in with the sky, which is why it's blue. Definitely a weird mistake. And here's another one from the same episode. Listen closely, guys, because this one's a little complicated. So, when Fred is first seen in the line at the start of the episode in the clips you guys just saw, he's wearing this fresh watch right here on his right fin, all right? Remember this, he's got a watch right here. As eventually, when he and the other customers complain about bubble bass taking too long to order, look, that same watch is just gone now. Like, maybe he took it off for a second, but I doubt it. I think this was just a mistake. The animators drew him with a watch, and then they forgot about the watch, and that's why we got got this scene with him wearing no watch. Which, hey, at least we can get a laugh out of it, all right? At least it's funny. I'm sure Fred over here doesn't think it's too funny, though. He's probably worrying about where his watch went. But you know what I'm worried about? More mistakes in SpongeBob, so let's head over to our next episode, guys, and this one's going to shock you. Try not to get in the way. Yeah! It's a play day! Uh, I mean, <laughs> all right, I'll partner up with you this time. Next up, we've got Squid Noir, and this episode's really, really cool. I actually think it's a very underrated episode. Now, we're gonna get into the mistake, but a big part of this episode is that Squidward becomes a detective, and when this happens, the whole art style changes. Everything becomes all black and white, and it starts to feel like a noir film. So, we're gonna get into the mistakes, but here are some clips showing you guys this, because it's a really cool episode. And then, we'll expose the mistakes and take a poop on the episode. Are you ready, my dear? We've got the- <laughs> ah! 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 That's how it began. My life smashed to bits. I figured a little good cop, bad cop would get his jaw flapping, so I- No! Oh, can I be the bad cop? Please, please, can I please? Yes, if you get out of my hard-boiled narration! Sorry. See, really, really cool stuff. Now we can just, you know, like I said, we can take a poop on the episode and bring up the mistake, roll the footage. 
Don't make me turn this boat around. No. I still could have passed you off as near mint. <laughs> This one's actually pretty easy to miss, especially because the scene's in black and white. But when one of Bubble Bass's friends try to comfort him after his suburban dad action figure breaks, the veil that one of the friends wears disappears for like a split second. It happens really fast. It then pops right back on, but look, for this one frame, it's gone. I'm actually gonna play the clip in slow motion again. Like, look at this, I'm playing it, and like, yeah, like it just disappears randomly. At least he gets it back though, so yeah. But crazy mistake, and let's keep it moving. Hmm, which SpongeBob? episode should we talk about next? Or actually, maybe it's time for the random mistake of the day, where we take a quick break from Spongebob to talk about mistakes in another cartoon suggested by you guys. Don't worry, we're gonna go right back to Spongebob. I know a lot of you guys prefer Spongebob, but let's hang out for a second and talk about another cartoon and expose some mistakes. Today, we're gonna do Paw Patrol, but comment down below and let me know other cartoons you want me to cover for the random mistake of the day segment. The episode in question is Pup Save the Space Alien, and for Con Context, it has to do with this character right here, Marshall. Pay attention to them. All right, you guys got it? Roll the footage. <sighs> Made it. <laughs> <laughs> So this type of mistake is actually pretty rare. Usually 3D animated shows are really good when it comes to mistakes because it's 3D models. So there's 3D models of everything and there's less of a chance of there being like a 2D animation style mistake. But we got one right here as when Marshall goes back to sleep and we see this elevator close. Look, our boy Marshall is actually clipping through the elevator doors, meaning his body is going through the doors model. This shouldn't happen, especially in 3D animation and is a mistake. And with that said, Let's head right back over to SpongeBob, baby. Let's go. Remember though, comment down below other cartoons you want me to cover in the random mistake of the day segment. But yeah, let's get back to SpongeBob. Sit, Rex. Sit. <sighs> Roll over, Rex. Roll over. Now stay, Rex. Stay. Good boy, Rex. Okay, so this one is kind of minor, but I'm so proud of myself for catching it. Like, I've never seen this mistake before, and I've actually covered this one episode plenty of times. The episode is dumped, where Gary decides that he wants to hang out with Patrick way more than SpongeBob. It's actually really, really sad. But anyways, roll the footage. Let's see if you guys can catch the mistake, and here's a hint. It has to do with a picture in the background of SpongeBob's house. Oh, Gary, why did you have to go? Why, Gary? <laughs> why? Why, 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 why? <gasps> Gary? Hey, SpongeBob. Did you guys catch it? It has to do with Gary's design. So let's take a look at Gary for a second. And as you guys can see, our beautiful snail right here, he has purple dots on him. These are important. And this like red squiggly line right here. All right. His design is iconic. Now I can understand why they did this because it's just a picture in the background and they didn't want to give it too much detail. But look at this picture of Gary in the back of SpongeBob's house. We can see that they got his design wrong. They got the red squiggle, but they were just too lazy to draw the purple dot which is kind of shocking because like they're just dots. I'm kind of nitpicking, but still technically a mistake, guys. Come on. And that's going to do it for today's video, guys. But click this video right here on screen for more SpongeBob mistakes. And guys, here's a secret. The mistakes in this video right here on screen are worse than the mistakes I covered in today's video. So trust me, click it. And of course, a massive shout out to the Grapple Gang. I love you guys. Genuinely, I seriously appreciate all of the support.